Analyzing the friction forces on screws is simpler than you might think it is once you have these equations and you understand the variables involved. So we have these three equations, actually five equations including these two, and we use those to find out what um, each of these variables might be if there are un unknown variables. So um, the moment M is the moment needed to turn the screw. R is the radius, the mean radius of the screw, which goes from the center of the screw out to the middle of the thread. W is the weight pushing on the screw. And then V is the angle at which the normal force and friction force are acting on. Um, and the angle theta is the angle of the incline of the threads on the screw. L is the lead, or in other words, the distance between one thread and another. That's the distance from the middle of the thread to the middle of the next thread. Um, and then these two R's are the same, same mean radius of the screw. And so these equations are almost identical except for a few sign changes with phi and theta. When phi and theta are added together, that is when the impending motion of the screw is in the opposite direction of our force W. Um, and when they are, when the impending motion is in the same direction as W, you use one of these two equations. And that which one you use depends on whether or not it is self-locking. If the screw is not self-locking, you use this equation. And if it is self-locking, you use this equation. And you'll know if it's self-locking if the angle phi is greater than the angle theta. And you can calculate those out if you need to. So if you want an example problem involving a screw, you can click on this video link. Or if you want an example problem involving a screw and wedges, you can click on this video link. And both of those links will take you to videos I made going through example problems of those. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you'll leave them down in the comments. And down in the description, I've got some links to Amazon and Teespring. You can go and find some student engineering merch, and buying that helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, student engineering. And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So hit that like button, and please subscribe.